This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. The date was March 13th, 1999, and the boxing world was all fired up. Unified IBF WBA heavyweight champion Evander Holyfield was set to square off against the WBC and lineal world heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis. The winner in this fight was expected to become the first undisputed world heavyweight champion in more than six years. Since Riddick Big Daddy Bo last held that distinction until he vacated the WBC belt in December 1992, tossing the belt into a trash can. The fight itself appeared to be fairly one-sided on the whole, where Lennox made a very strong account of himself. To the surprise of almost everyone, however, the fight was officially ruled a draw. Fans had waited six plus years for the chance to see a new undisputed world heavyweight champion, and it didn't happen. Not only was the fight ruled a draw, it was highly controversial where most observers believed Lennox deserved to win, myself included. Fortunately, the situation was resolved exactly eight months later, when Evander and Lennox had their rematch. Ironically, the fight was closer and more competitive this time around, but Lennox once again proved to be the superior boxer, and this time the judges got it right, and Lewis was awarded a 12-round unanimous decision. Lennox Lewis had become the new, undisputed world heavyweight champion, and it was just a month and a day shy of seven years since Bo last officially held that distinction. Now here we are, coming up on May 18th, where the unified IBF WBA WBO heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk is set to square off against the WBC and lineal world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. It was bad enough back when Lennox first met Evander that it had been over six years since we last had an undisputed world heavyweight champion. But now with the current state of heavyweight boxing, by the time Fury and Usyk have their fight, it will have been more than 24 years since we last had one. Over 24 damn years. And if history is to perhaps repeat itself here, and the fight ends in a draw, there probably will not be an easy remedy like there was back then. The upcoming rivalry between Fury and Usyk is expected to be at least two fights, but the IBF has already announced that, in the event Fury and Usyk have an immediate rematch, that they will strip the winner, and the IBF mandatory challenger will get the chance to fight for the vacant strap, and currently their mandatory is Philip Hergovich. But what happens if Fury and Usyk results with no winner? What if it ends in a draw? When Lennox and Evander had their controversial draw, they ran it back again, and it was still for all the marbles. But in this case, it would mean the rematch inherently loses some of its historic prestige. Lennox himself was ultimately stripped of the WBA belt, before he technically got the chance to make a single defense as the undisputed world heavyweight champion. But at the very least, he still beat Holyfield in the rematch to earn his undisputed status. For what it's worth, I still personally believe that Fury will win. I thought that when they were originally supposed to fight last April, and I thought it again before their scheduled fight back in February was postponed. The only thing that happened since then was that Fury struggled in his victory against Ngannou, and Usyk made an impressive defense against Dubois. But those fights only reaffirmed my belief that Fury will win. But my opinion don't mean shit, and my ability to make accurate predictions ain't exactly the gold standard over here. I'm no Quasimodo. The reality is, these are two highly skilled and determined warriors. Two undefeated champions with a proven ability to rise to the occasion. So the idea of a competitive contest that's close enough to end in a draw isn't far-fetched at all. And of course, this is boxing. So there is always the chance of a controversial draw. Just like the first fight between Lewis and Holyfield. Draws in heavyweight championship bouts aren't common, but they do happen. World Heavyweight Champion Tommy Burns battled Philadelphia Jack O'Brien to a draw in 1906. 
and Burns beat him in a rematch the following year winning a 20 round decision. In 1913, World Heavyweight Champion Jack Johnson had a 10 round draw against battling Jim Johnson. WBA Champion Michael Dokes and Mike Weaver had a draw in their 1983 rematch, and that one never became a trilogy. In 2001, the third fight between WBA Champion John Ruiz and Evander Holyfield ended in a draw. In 2004, IBF Champion Chris Bird and Andrew Galata had an entertaining scrap that ended in a draw. In 2006, WBC Champion Haseem Rockman against James Tony ended in a draw. And of course, Tyson Fury himself was involved in a championship draw when he challenged WBC Champion Deontay Wilder back in their first of three fights in 2018. And there may be other examples I'm forgetting here, but it's that first fight between Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield that acts as the most appropriate comparison here, given it was unification for Undisputed, and given the IBF has already stated they will strip the winner in the event of an immediate rematch between Fury and Usyk. So if their first fight does end in a draw, then a new undisputed world heavyweight champion will not emerge, which would really suck. I honestly don't understand the rush from the IBF. Hergovich deserves his shot so long as he keeps winning. But Fury vs. Usyk holds historical significance. What's the rush? The IBF hasn't enforced a mandatory in years. The last time they enforced a mandatory was when AJ stopped Pulev in December 2020. And it's not like the IBF listed a firm deadline. They had no problems waiting another three months for Fury's gash to heal. What's another six months on top of that at this point? Bottom line, I hope the fight has a decisive winner with no controversy and that it does not end in a draw, unless that really is the right call or at least a reasonable call. But if it does end in a draw, whether it has no controversy whatsoever, or especially if it does end in controversy, one would hope that the IBF might be able to apply a little common sense to the situation. And if they can do that, one wonders why they tried to preemptively ruin the party in the first place. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner. You know, Quasimodo predicted all this.